The Fed's rate cuts could have unintended consequences for the housing market. Over the past couple of years, the U.S. economy has wrung out inflation like dirty mop water from just about every sector, except for the housing market, which remains paralyzed by high prices and chronically low supply. But the action that could help solve America's home affordability crisis could potentially make it worse. To understand why, let's take a look at how we got here. At the core of the housing puzzle is a supply and demand imbalance. It's Econ 101. There are more people ready to buy than there are houses for sale. That was true even before the pandemic came along and sent demand through the roof. The market had become all but impenetrable after mortgage rates went from historic lows in 2020 to their highest levels in a generation last year. When the Federal Reserve almost certainly starts to cut rates Wednesday, it should, in theory, shake the market loose. But a lot depends on how aggressively the central bank moves to bring borrowing costs down across the board. A half-point rate cut, which seems unlikely but is not out of the question, would send a signal to the market that the Fed is serious about reversing the lock-in effect that makes homeowners with low-rate mortgages reluctant to sell in a high interest rate environment. If the Fed reverses course as aggressively as it raised rates, financing costs would go down, creating a flood of inventory of existing homes and taking some heat off prices. As counterintuitive as it sounds, in this post-pandemic cycle this would be an unmitigated good, Daniel Alpert, managing partner of Westwood Capital tells me. Lowering owner-occupied housing costs also pulls people out of the rental market, and that in turn lowers rents what Alpert calls a Goldilocks scenario. 